The way you think about yourself is exactly who you become because your life is just a physical manifestation of your thoughts. And this topic is so fascinating because the way this happens is literally like magic. And you might be thinking, well, what about my actions? Yes, your actions do play a part, but not nearly as important as your thoughts. And there has been this study that really proves this point that every time I think about this topic, I think about this study. So what happened was there was a group of people and they were trying to practice how to improve their free throws at the game of basketball. Yeah. So they split the group of people into three, three sets. So set one, which is a set one, the first group of people had no practice over a two week period. They tested their shooting before and after. Group two, had 20 minutes of practice every day for a two-week period, practiced, they, practiced, they tested the shooting before and after. And then group three now, same exact thing as group two. The only thing is there was no physical practice. The only difference was they would think about shooting for 20 minutes every day. And if they got it wrong, they corrected it in their mind. And the results are so fascinating because at the end of the study, they tested group one and they found out that there was no difference in the pets, the, the, how much free throws they made afterwards. Um, and there was no improvement. And then for group two, there was a 23% improvement. And then for group three, that never did any physical practice, there was 22 improve, 20 22% improvement in their free throws. If this isn't so revolutionary in your mind to think like, the thoughts that go on in your mind literally control your life. So if you don't like the way you currently live, your thoughts are in a bad spell and that's exactly why you feel the way you do. And this is so true, this is so true because I've seen how this has affected me in my own life because only a few years ago, around four or five years ago, I used to be very shy. My confidence, all time low. If I got attention from girls or guys, I would always associate that to be a negative, negative thought because in my head, no, I just didn't think that anything positive could come out of it. And that's exactly who I became. I started to act in line with exactly what I was thinking about myself. And it's so crazy to me. Also, one big thing for me was, um, anyone who doesn't know, I'm 6'6", six, six, I'm quite tall. And because I didn't like the, that attention I was getting, I would always associate those things with something bad, thinking, oh, they're probably looking at me because I'm too tall. Like, that was a constant thought that used to go on in my head. Like, being 6'6", six, six, I'm way too tall, everyone's looking at me, I didn't like that. I tell you right now, when I started taking the gym seriously, I started to improve on my confidence and everything, People treat me the exact same way and now all of a sudden is a positive connotation I get from this. If I find a girl that's looking at me, I'm thinking, oh, maybe she looks at me, she's looking at me right now because she wants to get to know me or she's interested in trying to, you know, get to know me as a person. Uh, same thing with a guy, maybe he wants to be friends with me. It's the same person, the same action that happened to me, but my perception of those things changed massively because of the way I felt about myself, because of the thoughts I had within my head. And you might be thinking right now, oh, People are looking at me weird or this is happening in my life right now. And you, you, your perception only happens because you have a negative view, view, view of yourself. And this is a fact. It happens so frequently. I see when people are dealing with certain things. It's all about your perception. Your thoughts really control your life. And if you can't get a grip of your thoughts, then you're going to be cooked. Because if this is, gonna, if this is something that's meant to be your biggest asset... Like, you're not, you, you have to pay attention to this. I tell you this right now, if I want to get to know someone I don't know, I pay attention to the things they say about themselves because people would never, ever, ever act out of line with the things they say about themselves. Like, we all have that friend who we say like, oh, back in school, like, oh, I'm not good at math. Oh, I can't do, I'm not good at English. I'm not good at this. My mental reasoning is different with this. I can't, I'm a, I'm a math person. I'm an English person. No, that's absolute garbage. And I tell you for a fact that even if that person tried to get good at math or English or whatever the subject was, they couldn't because people would never act out of line in terms of what they, how they view themselves. So if you constantly keep viewing yourself as a loser, as someone who can't achieve anything or someone who is broke, that's exactly who you will become because everyone has to have a certain level of self-delusion where there is nothing that gives you that confidence to feel a certain way about yourself but you just have to believe it you have to believe it so much that people around you think you're crazy i say this all the time if i see a girl looking at me in my head yes she wants me 
Ah, that's complete delusion because most girls don't even probably just look at me because I just oh this guy's fucking tall or maybe looking at me because maybe I might have something on my head and I'm thinking oh yeah she definitely wants me. That kind of delusion is the only thing that can allow you to view yourself in a positive light. So why would you ever want to believe something or think about something that wouldn't serve you, bro? Life as a man is hard. You have to put yourself in a formidable position where anything that you do would only serve you to get you to your goals. Because if things are already hard for you and you're constantly fighting with your own mind, you're not going to be able to achieve anything that's worth having because you're constantly fighting yourself and you can't get things done because your biggest asset is become your biggest enemy. Listen, there comes a point in the time in a man's life where he has to make a decision, bro. You can act on the things you know right now and really change your life for the better, or you can just keep doing things the exact same way that is going right now. And I tell you this, I say this all the time in all my videos, you and I are all the same. Like, There's nothing that makes someone else special. Like, If you can do something, I can do the exact same thing. That is my motto. I'm going to stand like by this to the day I die, because if we're all born basically equal, there is nothing that should separate you from from someone else. The only thing that someone else has that you don't have is exposure. And the only exposure that you can get to make you feel better is by putting yourself in those uncomfortable positions. Listen, and you might be thinking like, how can I get started with like thinking good about myself and all those thoughts? The number one thing is repetition. Repetition, 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 repetition. Listen, if you, can't av- if you can't think about yourself in a good way, that, oh, maybe I can't get this done, or maybe I can't succeed, you will never be able to succeed in anything that you try to do. Because the only reason why my life changed so drastically was because I started to believe in those things. I started to say them over and over and over again, and that became, that became my truth. Bro, I think Hitler said this, bro, I'm not trying to uh, um, fucking uh, acknowledge Hitler, but he said, if you can say something over and over and over again, that becomes the truth. I've I've been so delusional to believe certain things in my own life that shouldn't be the truth, but because I keep saying that to myself, if you tell a lie long enough, that becomes the truth. And I stand by this so much. So if you can't, you have to put yourself in a position where things start to work for you. And the only way you can do those things is by doing things that allow you to even if they might seem delusional, that allow you to succeed. Because success, status, having money, all the things that man should have. And if you go through the regular route of just trying to just, or oh, maybe I'm gonna work the job and, bro, no. Certain things have to make you outstanding as a man. Because there's so much competition because everyone wants exactly what you have. So why don't you get off your ass and actually do those things that people wouldn't do, which is being so delusional, being so delusional that people start to believe your own line, your own head because of the conviction you have when you say certain things. I know not every girl that sees me wants me, but that's the truth I believe. I know that every, every time I go into a job, I wouldn't get that job, but I believe that I will get that job because this is something that I tell myself that I am the shit. Bro, when I decided to change the things or change my life, I would say saying so many things that weren't true. I would make, I'm, I make a million dollars. I do this, I do that. All these things that might seem crazy like, there, that, this, 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 there's no proof that you have those things. But I refuse to live in the present because the present, if you live in the present, you would always think, oh, maybe I don't believe in this thing. Maybe it wouldn't happen. No, you, ca- you cannot allow yourself to doubt yourself. Like I said, your mind is your biggest asset and this will always be your biggest asset. So why don't you start with that by improving that? Listen, <clears throat> to get started, really you have to start with the small things. So if you can start with the small things by really trying to improve the way you view yourself and start thinking about the good things, then you can actually slowly grow and progress. But if you can't even do the small things, the small things like, I don't know, like just think that, all right, cool, I'm going to go outside and, um, oh, maybe some girl looks at you and you think, oh yeah, maybe she does want me. Or maybe something happens in your life, you think, oh yeah, that happened only happened because I'm the shit, I'm the guy. People ask you for certain things and you start to view yourself in such a superior lens because if you can't do this, no one else is gonna do it for you. That delusion is something you absolutely need. And thinking about those things in such a positive way and viewing yourself in such a positive, superior way is the only way things will start to change around for you. I say this all the time, your mind is your biggest asset, so you should never fight with your mind. But your thoughts should always be a step level or two ahead of where you currently are if you really want that success. Listen, never let a negative th- thought about yourself 
and be entertained in your head. If you, if that ever thought ever comes into your head, like, oh, maybe I'm not the shit, maybe I'm not this, get rid of it. Doesn't really matter. Get rid of it as soon as possible. Because if you can constantly keep doing this, your minds are going to be filled with, with negative, with positive thoughts. I'm not saying here, like, I'm not sitting here and saying. Um, negative thoughts never cross my mind they do but once i acknowledge the fact that that is negative that would only take away from me i get rid of it listen fear and faith both require you to believe in things that you cannot see so why would you want to choose something that would only take away from you anyway guys this is the end of the video i really hope this is very helpful to anyone who is really struggling with their thoughts and being locked up in their own head but yeah that's the end of today's video and i'm sure i'm going to see you guys tomorrow have a good day guys